Hello and welcome. So today's topic is something very, very interesting, I would say, and it is uh, very important in many cases that this kind of solution is exist, and it is seminar booking or seat booking in one meeting or seminar or uh, you know whatever you call it, and this also can be used for uh, booking some kind of product uh, out of the uh, box and then uh, we can sort uh, who book uh, for what session which seminar and maybe you know in one day you have four or five uh, seminars uh, running one after another and then uh, people uh, are given options uh, out of four which uh, seminars uh, they want to book so once they book uh, using the form Google form uh, in the background the Google sheet will sort that out and create a table uh, to uh, you know display in a dashboard manner uh, as what uh, seat is booked by who so uh, let's uh, go through that uh, step by step and we, we can actually um, go in a little bit deeper so here is my uh, Google spreadsheet and this is my Google form I'm opening right now and uh, it's taking uh, quite a bit time uh, I should not take this much time as well anyway and let me show you uh, the google uh, to you know uh, so the summaries of uh, booking status and the google form is embedded in the google site to uh, user give access so that they can enter their data Okay, so this is uh, my class 051 seat booking form for with the Google and here I have very simple your name and then sign up uh, options like uh, you know right now I have 99 seats remaining and one of the session 100 seats remaining so I have total 24 responses and you can see uh, there are a uh, few uh, which got actually triple response most of them are actually single response and then individual okay anyway so this individual you can actually um, the editor can actually see each individually name and the selection uh, this option is not given uh, it's your name okay three response the AA this person has three response this person has two response C C has two response and remaining all have single response now uh, going back to Google sheet if we see we have a response sheet here um, here and then we have uh, in the same sheet we have registry uh, which is actually used to the kind of uh, sort making dashboard and this is the session like this is one seminar this is another this is another this is fourth seminar and I have added one more session and then uh, if we add more session we can just click update form to update the form uh, the options uh, let me show you the options
so these are the options available so new session is there if we want to add more session okay one more session mm -hmm. we can click update form so that this option become part of this form let's refresh the form and uh, we should be ah i have actually uh, something more and more session I have to check it why it's not uh, coming let's uh, now go, uh, let's go to another sheet count this sheet count count sheet is actually uh, you know calculating the remaining seed from the total capacity seed and then this one is displaying within this form you see 99 99 99 100 and it is that form now and this total seat taken is actually coming from total seat booked in this uh, form response now i have deleted some of the previous responses let's delete it again now i have no registry no sign up so this should be now zero this is also zero and this is nothing okay but my response here is shows 24 so how can we view this response it it is the same we do not have any registry at this moment but in the form it is showing 24 so how we can reset this delete responses if we delete responses we can simply delete response from the form and now we have uh, this should be 100 seats remaining 100 seats remaining let me refresh it one more time uh, right now actually we don't have any yes now we have 100 seats remaining and there is no sign up everything counts zero now i'm going to uh, register as a first um, member and my name and then i choose science in it and then I submit so this data now should be available in response sheet okay so it's coming uh, the row number 26 uh, while I have already deleted the responses and it should be actually I would say unlink the form let me unlink do it one more time so that uh, i get to reset everything from beginning and then select the destination uh, existing spreadsheet select and then select this uh, spreadsheet again select it and spreadsheet is linked mm, response two now it becomes response two okay what we can do we can delete this uh, better uh, let me delete this as well uh, we have to unlink again uh, unlink the form unlink and then uh, delete it 
should not be problem so now I have deleted that response sheet now link again existing sheet select spreadsheet existing one and then select this one and now spreadsheet is linked again and this one should be one I have edited this one so that my other you know things work as it is I have link with this form response one I renamed it one this one so that they uh, become still valid okay so let's uh, submit another response a, a first one submit let's go to the sheet and see yes now it has reset completely I have linked from the beginning uh, with the form to the Google sheet and it is now collecting the data from the beginning I have now registered one AA for the science in IT I can create another BB select second and submit and I will have another here uh, it will take a little while before update mm. yeah, BB new age in technology new age in technology it should be here already let's try what's going on cc and now third one select this ah it's not coming so very fresh ah this one somewhere the formula is not right let me copy this here and this here c4 d4 c4 and b4 okay so now try again bb1 b okay so it's coming now now if continue to you know send the form and submit we will have this continuous you know um, automatic sorting of the seminar now dd and then select uh, abcd this fourth one okay and then submit we'll have here and then last finally let's try e e a b c d e the last one and then submit we'll have data here uh why is not coming okay we have to copy the formula and it's here and one more uh, it should also come here let me paste the formula and try f as well it's not available uh, okay so we update the form let's see if it is uh, available after repress it's still not available so let's try why is this not available or we can do one thing mm. We can create a menu in the within the form to update. Uh, let me so. Oh. So you see, all the forms are updated and nicely visual with the response percentage selection. Ah, I like it. So only thing I have to worry about: why is the new? session not updating in the form right uh, let's go to the developer form script editor on form submit uh, update
a2 to c count a2 to c a2 to c okay and session data range session data range is this one session id item by id okay mm, this item is the session data this one is this one session data is coming from here mm -hmm. okay understand so this should be ah here so you see f4 I have F4, so if I type E4, FZ, EFZ, I have new session here. Okay, so I have to modify in this transport formula to update this list because ultimately um, in the Google for, uh, App Script program, I am actually referencing this table. To update the form uh, which form this form this part of the form okay <laughs> so how can I automatically update this transpose form if I update session here okay oh so this is important thing 